Hey guys, and welcome to this video on an induction proof. So here we want to prove by induction that our recurrence T of N is equal to two to the power of N minus one. And here I have our recurrence in orange. It says T of N equals two times T of N minus one plus one. And when N equals zero, T equals zero. So that's our base case. And this is actually the recurrence for the Tower of Hanoi. All right, now before we start our proof, maybe we wanna do some checking on our own to see if this is actually true. So um, maybe we'll say, okay, well, what's T of zero? Well, of course, that's our base case, that's zero. Uh, then we'll say maybe what's T of one? Well, T of one is equal to two times T of one minus one plus one, which is equal to two times T of zero plus one. And T of zero equals zero, so this is just two times zero plus one, and so this equals one. And then let's check maybe another value like two. So we get two times uh, T of two minus one plus one. And this is equal to two times T of one plus one. And what is T of one? Well, that's just one, we just solved for that. So we get two times one plus one, which is equal to three. All right, and so now maybe we wanna do some checking here. So we get our other equation, which is two n minus one. And we're gonna plug in some values for n. So we'll plug in zero. So we get, uh, I'll do it here, two to the power of zero minus one equals one minus one, which equals zero. So that checks out there and there. Next, maybe we'll try one. So two to the power of one minus one, we expect it to equal one. Okay, and it does equals one. So it checks out there and here. And then for the next value, two, we're gonna expect uh, three. So we get four minus one, which equals three. So it looks like, um, looks like this might be true. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my napkin here so we can go ahead and erase the board. So, Let's prove this for all values of n using induction. Okay. So first thing we're gonna need is our base case. That's our first step. So we wanna show that t of zero is equal to two to the power of zero minus one. So this right here is our base case, and our base case is when n is equal to zero. So t of zero equals zero from our base case up there, and t of zero, I'm sorry, two to the power of zero is one, so we get one minus one, and that of course equals zero. So this checks out, it's true. And actually I want to use a purple marker for this. So I'm just gonna rewrite this here. All right, so again, we get t of zero equals two to the power of zero minus one when n equals zero. And then what we see is zero equals zero. So this is true. All right, so next up we want, uh, the next step is the induction hypothesis. Okay. So the induction hypothesis here, we're just going to assume for some arbitrary value of n that t of n equals two to the power of n minus one is true, okay? So that's our assumption, and we're gonna use this later on in our induction step, which is right now. So this is the induction step or inductive step. And this step here is to prove that if the statement is allowed to be true for um, any one natural number, then it must be true for the next natural number as well. So here we're going to um, or here we want 
to show that t of n plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1. Okay, and all I did was just plug in n plus 1 um, into our original equation, which you can see up here. All right, so let's go ahead and do this step here. So I'm going to start off with the left hand side, t of n plus 1. And this is equal to, let's see if we use that equation up here, or the function up here, then we get um, 2 times t of n plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. Okay? And this, of course, is just equal to 2 times t of n plus 1. And the result that we actually want is we want to get to this final stage here, right? We want to show that, that this whole thing is equal. All right, so I'm going to continue down here. So we had 2 times t of n plus 1. So we said t of n is 2 to the power of n minus 1. So we could just replace t of n here for 2 to the power of n minus 1 to get 2 times 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus 1. Okay, and that's by our induction hypothesis. Okay. And this, of course, is equal to 2n plus 1 minus 2 plus 1. And this is equal to 2n plus 1 minus 1. So that checks out. So now we're on our final step, which is the conclusion. Okay. And here all we say is, thus we conclude that t of n is equal to 2 to the power of n minus 1. All right, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any questions you have. Please leave likes, comments. Don't forget to share the video to help others. And as always, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.